Now let us start with the session. JSP. JSP. Java Server Pages. Java Server Pages. This is given by the Sun Microsystem. This is given by the Sun Microsystem. This is the most important technology in real time. Right? So now, presentation purpose, the industry people was used by the, this JSP technology only. Java server pages. By using JSP technology, we can develop the dynamic web pages. We can develop the dynamic web pages. Right? Why to go for this JSP technology? First of all, try to understanding here. Try to understanding here. Whenever we are using the servlet technology, whenever we are using the servlet technology, there is a some drawbacks. What are the drawbacks in servlet technology? Drawbacks of drawbacks of servlet technology. Drawbacks of servlet technology. So many drawbacks are there in servlet technology. What are the drawbacks here? Number one. Number one. Number one. Whenever we are developing the one servlet, must and should we need to configure that servlet inside the web.xml file. Must and should we need to configure inside the web.xml file. Assume that 100 servlets are there, 100 servlets are there in our application. 100 servlets must and should be need to configure inside the web.xml file. But configuring the all the all the 100 servlets inside the web.xml file, this is unnecessarily increasing the burden on the developers. So problem number one is what? Whenever we are developing the whenever we are developing the whenever we are developing the servlet servlet must and should must and should must and should we have to configure we have to configure inside the web.xml file inside the web.xml file this is the problem number one number two is whenever we are modifying the servlet whenever we are modifying the servlet Whenever we are modifying the servlet, servlet must and should must and should we need to stop the server. We need to stop the server and we need to compile we need to we need to compile the servlet and and once again and once again once again redeploy redeploy the application redeploy the application inside the server inside the server and and 
restart the server restart the server this is unnecessarily time consuming process each and every time each and every time we need to modify the servlet and we need to recompile reexecute redeploy and restart the server this is unnecessarily increasing the burden on the developers third problem third problem servlets are servlets are allowed by the only java code servlets are allowed by the allowed by the only java code only java code but not but not text and html code text and uh, html code but not text and uh, html code right fourth problem fourth problem presenting the data is very slow whenever we are using the servlets we are using the servlets servlets presenting the data presenting the data presenting the data is very slow very slow right these many disadvantages are there whenever we are in the servlet technology while implementing the dynamic web pages by using servlets and jsp we can developing the dynamic web pages okay whenever we are using the servlet technology these many disadvantages are there in order to overcome these disadvantages now we have to go for what now we have to go for what jsp java server pages jsp technology is given by the sun micro system jsp technology is given by the sun micro system by using jsp technology we can overcome to the all these problems we can overcome to the all these problems right so now here the jsp pages jsp pages is allowed by the is allowed by the any type of data now advantages of jsp technology advantages of jsp technology advantages of jsp technology number 1 whenever we are developing the one jsp page we no need to configure that jsp page inside the web.xml file whenever we are developing the whenever we are developing the one jsp page jsp page we no need to we no need to configure inside the inside the web.xml file inside the web.xml file inside the web.xml file the next the next presenting the data is very fast presenting the data is very fast is very fast compared to servlet compared to servlet our servlets third advantage 
whenever we are modifying the jsp whenever we are modifying the jsp whenever we are modifying the jsp we no need to we no need to stop the server stop the server and restart the server restart the restart the server fourth advantage the jsp pages the jsp pages is allowed by the the jsp pages is allowed by the is allowed by the html code HTML code and and textual code textual data and Java code also Java code also like that these many advantages are there and whenever we are developing the one jsp page whenever we are developing the jsp page where we can place that jsp page under root folder only under root folder only and whenever we are developing the jsp page must and should we need to save that jsp page extension is dot jsp extension is dot jsp right see now here these two are rules rules of jsp pages whenever we are developing one jsp page whenever we are developing whenever we are developing one jsp page on jsp page must and should must and should must and should we need to save we need to save extension is extension is dot jsp dot jsp second rule second rule after developing the jsp page after developing the jsp page after developing the jsp page must and should must and should we need to we need to we need to place inside the inside the application scope application scope inside the application scope we have to follow the these two rules as well as these are all advantages right as well as advantages fine now we will see the now we will see the architecture of jsp whenever we are developing on jsp page where we place the jsp page inside the root folder inside the root folder so now this is my this is my architecture 
so now jsp app 1 jsp app 1 jsp application 1 under that we can take src the next under that web inf web inf right now here we can take the classes folder the next here we can take the lib folder now whenever we are developing on JSP page we can place under root folder that is for example welcome dot welcome dot JSP welcome dot JSP right so now in the same way in our JSP also there is some Java files as it is we can place an SRC folder after compilation then we will get what dot class files those dot class files we can place under classes folder inside the web enough just we can take web.xml that's enough opening web app closing web app if we have any jar files are there we can place under lib folder so this is the okay web application architecture now anyway if you are developing the one jsp page if you are developing on jsp page where we can place that jsp page inside the root folder this is also called as root folder also called as root folder right like that we can design the we can design the okay we can design the web application architecture right fine